eighth video on unit shell and I'm going to talk about file permissions uh, in this video. So previously we looked using ls-al at a series of files or ls-l just giving us the long list. So if we have a look presently at the directory um, that we created earlier, tester, we'll see that it's been created with some default permissions rwx, rx, rx and I mentioned in one of the previous videos that these are the Unix file permissions and what we have here are read write execute for the user, read write execute for the group and read write execute for the world. Now what happens if we don't want someone else accessing elements of um, our directories or our files? So in this case we're going to have a quick look at the directory that I created called rmtest and maybe I only want myself to have read, write and execute access to this file. So to change this we use the chmod command and the chmod command takes in an optal string of digits to allow us to change permissions and in this case um, we can build these up by adding together the binary values for each of the flags, read, write and execute. So for example, if I wanted all users, to, uh, sorry, myself as the user, to have read, write and execute, I'd set each one of these flags to be a 1. So 4 plus 2 plus 1 gives us 7. If I wanted to allow the group to just have read access to that directory, I would set the flag here to 1 and everything else to 0, so that would then give us 4. And if I wanted no one in the world um, group to have access to it, I would set that to 0. Let me just go and demonstrate that with the chmod command. chmod, we then pass in the flags, so I'm going to set 7, 4, 0, and then I'm going to say which directory I want to set the flags for. I now do an ls minus l in the directory rm test. We can now see that the flags um, so just have to list the whole lot there. Um, we can now see that the flags been set to read, write, execute, and read. So this is a very useful command. For example, if I change into um, that directory now. Test. I'm allowed to do full access to everything in it. However, um, no one else is allowed um, to create files in there. Now, I can also change this. So, for example, if I chmod the directory so that I only have access to um, read in it as well, I can now go into tester and I don't have permission to, to actually go into a directory that I own. So you can now see that um, RM test it has read, write, execute permission. So change that, I can test that. So if I look at test there, um, test there now only has read access. Um, but if I try to change into test there, it won't let me because we actually need read and execute to be able to change into that directory. Chmod works in a strange way on network files. So if I change that now to 6, I still don't have permission. So to be able to go into it, I actually need to give it the full permission for read write so that I can actually go into that directory. So we can even lock ourselves out of our own directories using Chmod. More importantly, we can lock other people out. Now I'm going to quickly demonstrate how we can, within that directory, give permissions to do other things. So I'm going to set the default permissions, chmod, to be 7. So we can go back to our diagram, 7, all set. Then I'm going to set this to be read and execute, so that's going to be 5. And I'm going to set this to read and execute, which is going to be 5. Tester. Now, if I change it to tester, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty 
application script, so I'm going to call it hello.py. If I just open this up, um, I'm going to add to it a what is known as a hash bang. This is telling it user bin Python, but I want to use the Python interpreter to run this script, and it's just going to print hello Python, which is a very, very simple Python program. Now I can run this by going Python hello.py and it will run that script. But at the moment it's not um, got any permissions to be able to run. So I can't, for example, go hello.py to try and run it because permissions denied. At the moment this is only a read write program. So I'm going to change the permissions to HMOD to be 766 hello.py. 766 if you have a look. I have read, write, and execute, um, and other people have read, write, read, write. So we're going flat. So it's 755. Let's just do that again. I have a look there. LS minus AL. I have full permission to read, write, execute. Other people have read X, read X. You'll also notice because of our prompt, it's turned yellow to indicate that it's an executable. Now I can just run this as though it were a normal program. So, Setting these flags is quite a, a powerful thing. 